the societal challenges that I discussed today related to the environment directly were climate change and land degradation. However, I thought about the reality of responsible research and innovation and the tools that the IRI project has been pursuing. And so I considered two elements of the environment which are less thought about today but will be thought about a lot more in the future. One of them is the concept that stationarity is dead and that basically means that you can't use the past alone to predict the future now. You've got to consider what we know about change in order to plan for the future. And the telecoupling example, the second one, basically says that understanding that there are interactions between two different human systems or two different environmental systems is not enough. The world is so interconnected that we must realize that environment, humans interact a great deal. And the example I gave had to do with land use and the actual reality that many countries not only consume their own land to take care of their economy, but because they're importing so much from other parts of the world, they're actually consuming that land as well. And that has ramifications for how we will manage the environment in the future. The RRI principles are fundamental to addressing grand challenges because by definition, those challenges are coupled human natural system challenges almost always. And the only possibility in addressing an environmental problem is to bring the people involved or affected by that problem to the table. That means we've got to practice participatory oriented approaches and we have to have openness, we have to have the potential for the research world to be responsive to the actual research needs that are expressed by people. That is a two-way street, that's a co-creation of knowledge situation. And without that, we will not address these environmental challenges successfully. <laughs>